Hey, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Rise and shine. It is a little brisk morning here in beautiful central Pennsylvania. I'm getting ready to head on out the road here and uh, get over there to a beautiful Fort Indian Town Gap. Uh, one of my co-workers, he'll be running a little bit late today. He's got to take care of his daughter. So the old guy is going to be there. He's going to handle it. Yes, he is. You can always depend on the old guy. With that being said, let's put down some coffee. Or your favorite morning beverage, whatever that might be. Ah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Who wants to be a billionaire? If you didn't get your ticket, you only got a few hours left now. Get your ticket. It's going off tonight. And good luck to all of you. And if you do hit it and you got the ticket because I reminded you, remember me when you uh, get your winnings, okay? Like I said, I'm not asking for much. I just want a million dollars after taxes. That'll set me up just right, all right, for the remainder of my time on Earth here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had some guys over last night. Uh, I think I told you guys uh, I changed over to uh, oil heat. So I had uh, my uh, coal guy, Joe Hoy, that's been working on my coal furnace, uh, shoot, since we moved here uh, 15 years ago. He's been my go-to maintenance man, and uh, he's been treating me really well. And he told me last year, he said, Warzy, it's almost time for you to get a different uh, heating system in here. Not because the, the coal furnace was bad, but I'm getting up there in age. And uh, that's labor intense for you people that know what you got to do with a coal furnace, you know. Uh, when I first moved here, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, going back in time and heating the house with coal and taking care of all that. Well, yeah, it was all well and good back then. Back then, I was only like 50 years old, you know. I was still handling it. But as I got older, it just uh, uh, put a little strain on my back, if nothing else, okay? So anyway, I changed it over. Uh, Joe found a uh, uh, furnace for me, an uh, oil furnace, and he did all the construction work and did a really nice job and put that in. That's Joe Hoy, in case uh, anybody over here in uh, Tower City is uh, looking for a, a good uh, oil furnace guy or coal, all right? He can do both, and uh, I mean, for all the years he's been doing it, he's got the knowledge, all right? There's my plug for Joe Hoy. But anyway... So last night, uh, I uh, I sold my uh, coal furnace, oh shoot, about a week ago, let's say, all right, and uh, the gentleman uh, that was buying it, he says, well, I want to come over and, uh, you know, start breaking it down and taking it apart. I said, sure, when do you want to do it? Well, he wanted to do it over the weekend, and I just wasn't available, so we set it up for last night, so he come down here with uh, three Three guys, I guess, and they're downstairs uh, breaking this big old furnace apart, and they got it all apart, and they got their little dolly, and he went to put it on the dolly, and <clears throat> the dolly just couldn't handle the weight. So he says, can I come back tomorrow? Really, what do you think I'm going to say, no? <laughs> I said, by all means, I'm here all week, you know. I might not be here on a weekend, but uh, you got all week, take your time, you know, no pressure on this end. Just let me know when you're coming, and I'll make sure uh, I got the lights on for you, and uh, anything else I can help you with, I'll help you with, you know. So he's coming back over tonight with his guys, and uh, they're getting a, a heavy, heavier, dutier, <laughs> or a heavy-duty <laughs> dolly. How's that for explaining it, right? The dolly he brought just couldn't handle this uh, big furnace, right? But they got it all ripped apart in pieces and that. It's just a matter of uh, being able to uh, lift it up, you know, get it on the dolly and roll it out, and then got to lift it up and put it on the trailer. God bless those guys. They're, they're younger than I am, you know, so. My boy's in place, if you can see him. Uh, hopefully you can, all right? He's over there. He's watching uh, the dad's stool, so we're all good to go here. My contractors, they'll be back here today. I mean, I got a lot of stuff going on around this house, you know. 
I had the coal for, or oil furnace uh, maintenance contractor in here last week, along with uh, my uh, home improvement guys, all right, Coil Construction. There's their plug from Tower City. They're doing a good job. They've been here, and they'll be back here this uh, uh, this morning, I guess. You know, uh, uh, had a little problem yesterday with uh, one of their relatives got sick, and uh, he had to shut everything down here yesterday, and rightfully so. I understand that. You know, his uh, brother was uh, apparently rushed to the hospital. They thought it was a heart attack, and thank God it wasn't. And I, you know, I told uh, Rodney, I says, "Hey, I'll say a prayer for your brother. You know, I hope he gets well. You know." Apparently, he's got a, a bad case of COPD. At least that's uh, uh, what I gather by uh, the information that I got so far. But uh, hopefully, uh, the brother's going to be okay, and uh, he can get uh, his mind focused on getting back to doing his thing with his business, you know. So um, that's about it for right now. Uh, last night for dinner, all right? Uh, we did the old standby, <laughs> We used to go to the Huddle House and Waffle House a number of times uh, when I lived over there in Hotlanta, Georgia. And I, I'd always get their hash browns, you know, co covered and smothered. So that's uh, what Carol made last night for us, right? Uh, got my hash browns well done with uh, fried onions in, mixed in with it, uh, uh, chunks of tomato, okay, and uh, some chili. Just topped it over the top. That's how I look like my uh, Waffle House or, or Huddle House hash browns, you know. She likes hers with all that stuff on it, but also mixed in with cheese and hot peppers. And I mean, there's so much you can do with, with a hash brown. So that's what we had for dinner. And uh, I had my, uh, last night I had a tall glass of water, okay, <laughs> for my uh, beverage of choice during dinner. And then I was going to have some ice cream, but I thought, nah, I'll save that for maybe today. So maybe tonight I'll have my ice cream. That's all, folks. You know, I'm just babbling on so you can uh, enjoy your coffee and listen to me babble on while you're maybe reading your uh, morning paper or whatever, you know. But one, one more reminder, get your Mega Million. And if you're in the state for the Powerball, Get that also, because that's up there too, you know. You combine the two together, it's well over $2 billion, all right? I'm not greedy. I'll take either one, all right? Okay, folks, I got to get going. I got to hit the road. Got to go do my thing uh, on the Army base there. You know, uh, I love my job. I really do. They've been good to me. And I'm coming close to my end of my career with uh, Fort Indian Town Gap. It's... Uh, just a matter of when I want to sign the papers, you know. So it might be January. We'll see, you know. Depends how I feel here. All right, folks, you have a great day today. And my travelers out there with the campers and RVs and over 50 RVers, God bless you guys. Stay safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings, all right, because you want to make sure you're safe and your loved ones are safe. And all my Facebook friends out there, you know, God bless you guys also. You know, love your family and your kids, your neighbors, your co-workers. Because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. And try to say something nice to your fellow human being, all right? And, and do something positive for someone today, okay? All right, guys, keep on smiling. Cheers to Nostrovia. As always, I love you guys. I do. Take care of yourselves, and if this is the first time that you're watching my video, hit that subscribe button down there. That way you'll be nudged every time I make a video. Hit that little bell there next to the subscribe button also. All right, guys, God bless you. I love you. Take care. Smile.